Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video uh, for the Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Uh, it looks to be a card drafting tableau management. Uh, it is for two to four players from Gerard War. Uh, this is a second edition and I really like the artwork on this. I've seen the first edition. I'm glad there's a second edition. Uh, welcome to a mysterious island in the Bermuda Triangle where you and your opponents represent newly arrived teams in search of powerful artifacts. In order to be victorious, you must manage resources wisely, plan coordinated attacks, cope with personal vendettas, and accomplish cunning trades. Multiple routes exist to the finish line. Will you be the one who best analyzes a given situation and emerges victorious? This is what you'll discover in the Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Ah, sounds pretty exciting. Uh, you can see the back of the box here. You have, looks like we're going to have a whole lot of cards. We're going to have a couple player mats, a tracker, and who knows what else. Um, for those that are unboxing purists, I do have to apologize. The shrink wrap came off when I was taking it out of the package. Um, it has not been opened. Some people, <laughs> I was amazed. Some people really take that seriously. Uh, this has not been opened, but the shrink wrap is gone. My fault, I cut it when I was opening the, the box. So, all right, let's get down to it, shall we? All right, so here we are with the box for the Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Uh, I'm trying something a little different today. Uh, I've, I've had an old piece of equipment that I found in a box. Uh, I've noticed whenever I do the unboxing, partially because I'm facing down, uh, my lapel mic doesn't work quite as well, so we're gonna try a condenser mic and see how I sound on that. All right, so here's the cover of the box. Very nice artwork, very Pirates of the Caribbean, very Bermuda kind of island spooky with maps. On the back, as I showed, uh, you have your description, uh, list of cards, your mats, um, game features, alternate game endings, variable player power, unique briefing system, bartering system. So I'm reading upside down. Um, val a variable play phase order and hidden missions. Yeah, this is really hard to read upside down. Uh, I'm learning all kinds of new talents with this web show. All right, let's crack her open, shall we? Oh, it's not vacuum sealed like the other ones. This is great. How many of my videos have you seen where I'm like, I can't get it open? Actually, now that I say that, there we go. I was stuck on a corner. All right. Da, 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 da. So, what do we have first? Of course, like any box, we have the rules. Excellent. Uh, very nice rules, uh, very good printing. It's a good size. It's not, I hate when a game comes with tiny itty bitty rules. Ooh, full color art. Looks like some very good descriptions. I have not read this, obviously, but I like the layout. The text is very easy to read. Uh, there's pictures with everything. All right, definitely like this art book, or rule book, I'm sorry. All right, so that's how we start. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, your adventure, no, advanced skills map. So, oh, okay. Um, here, we have your basic skills map. It looks like for when you're just getting started. Um, ultimate, I don't know what any of this means. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, so you're adding different skills and buying them for different resources, looks like. Excellent. And then when you want to play a harder game, this is the advanced one, where things cost more, have different options, it looks like. Instead of just, instead of just having one, you've got A, B, A, B, C, things like that. So, oh, we got, so what do we have? How many of these do we have? One, two, three. Okay, four. Okay, we'll set those there. Ooh, tokens. I do love tokens. Look at all those tokens. Um, looks like they are primarily this little swirl with some kind of mountain here. Uh, there are four of whatever this mountain is, and one, that's your time tracker, I think. We saw that on the back of the box. And, okay, I look forward to those. And what do we have left? Cards and the Discovery Dawning Track. Okay, again, um, is there an, is it, does it describe? Is it the same? I can't tell. I can't tell, I would have to start playing the game. 
Uh, this looks like your time tracker. So counting how many rounds, and it looks like there are, the further you get into the game, um, different effects start to kick in, like everyone draws a boost, everyone draws an ambush, lose one stability token. Interesting. Okay. So this is how you keep track of the time of your game. Then we have cards. Four different kinds of cards, looks like. Uh, I see boost. Okay. I see common. I see venture. And I see ambush. Those sound like fun. Shall we open them? I think we should. All right. I am starting with the boost. I'm going to regret this because I don't have bags ready, and you guys know how much I like to bag my stuff. All right, so what do we got? Boost, boost. Oh, it's not all boost. Okay. So boost. Ooh, the artwork on this is so pretty. Uh, if I can get the camera to focus because I'm up too close, but I want you all to see the art. Um, really like the art on this. All right, so those are, yeah, I guess you know, there's only four boosts. Uh, these are your rare. Uh, looks like we have, here, I'll flip them upside down so you can see. Oil, there's an artifact, uh, some kind of scroll. Okay. Gold, diamond, diamond, gift of the trees, gift of the tide, oil, uh, pearl. So... Uh, I like, oh man, I really like the artwork on this. These are really pretty. All right, so I can only assume, oh, we got another one. I want to see what these scrolls are about. I don't have to read the rules. Um, I have talked to my group. We are going to get this to, to the table pretty soon. Everybody's excited to play this just from reading the back. So expect a review of this very soon. Um, okay, so there's this scroll thing. I'll set that aside. Um, artifact, stone, coal, lumber, water, artifact, what else? Anything else? Water, stone, a lot of stone. Okay, so these are common, so I don't really expect a whole lot of excitement, but cool. Okay, uh, what's next? Uh, we will go with the venture cards. Let's see what's in here, shall we? I can get the damn thing. Okay. You guys can't see me opening this with my teeth. Okay. There we go. I got, okay. I got it open. Kind of. Started. Almost. Almost there. There we go. Ah. Stupid. Okay. So these are your venture cards. Um, hey. Hey. This scroll key, I'm thinking this scroll is pretty important. Um, for C, whenever you buy a boost or ambush mystique, you may choose from the top two cards and discard the one you don't choose. Or, oh, okay, cool, they're, they're double-sided. So, if I can get the camera to focus on the damn thing, there's for C, or you can flip it over, and there's blackout. Blackout, you cannot complete catalysts. Ignore any victory points you have earned from catalysts. I don't know what catalysts are, but okay. Um, endless bounty or wasteland. So some of these are negative. I'm wondering, I have not read the rules, obviously, but I'm wondering if one is the boon and one is the bane. Like, you get the good, but you have to get the bad too. I don't know. Or maybe they're just drawn certain ways. There's a, if you look closely, there's a flip sign in the middle. So I'm wondering if maybe something activates them. I don't know. There's all kinds of really cool cards in here, though. The artwork, again, uh, let me flip this here. Um, the artwork, again, is gorgeous. Really like the art of this game. Um, and it's funny. Uh, I will see if I can find some of the artwork from first edition. But when I saw the game, uh, the reviewer were, or the creator was talking about it and I saw art from the game, I was like, eh, oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, it looked like, it looked like they got the art done and Gerard, please don't be offended by this. Um, 
Uh, it looked like they had their art done by that one kid they knew in high school that totally drew manga in the back of this in the back of class, but he was wasn't all that good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have ambush cards. Uh, oh, there's other kinds of cards mixed in here. Ah, okay. Catalyst, ambush, catalyst, ambush. Cool. So here's the back of our. Look, I love the cards. These are gorgeous. They're so detailed, but it's not overly detailed. Like. It, it, there's not so much detail on them that I can't tell what the hell's going on. Okay, um, so I'm going to separate a few of these just to give you some idea of what's in store for you. So I'll take these. All right, these are some catalysts here. Uh, Silver Tongue, Mimic, uh, Destiny Beckons, Aggressive Involvement. Uh, rank advancement and ulterior modem. So these are catalysts and some of your ambush cards. Fade from reality. That sounds like fun. Very Doctor Strange. Uh, tainted water. Ew. Somebody peed in the water. Distorted sky. Dun dun dun. Trail barricade. That's no fun. So. We've got a very large deck of these, so I am I am actually really excited to get this to the table. This looks like a lot of fun. It looks very detailed. Um, so let's go ahead and pack her back up here. This will purely be for visual aid because you guys know as soon as I'm done here, box, or bag, 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 bag. Okay. Um... Uh, oh, I love popping tokens. Popping tokens is my favorite part of opening any new game. Even got to the point where I have a few people that are part of my gaming group that are like, can, can, I, can I pop your tokens? When you get a new game, can I pop the tokens out? No, they're mine. I paid for the game, I get to pop the damn tokens. All right. Um, I don't know, it's like the equivalent of popping bubble wrap to me. Oh, just weirdly therapeutic. All right. So, time. Repacking everything here. Player mats. Fantastic rule book. And even as small as the rule book is, it still has a table of contents. I like that. I like organization. I like good rules. Good rules are good. And there we have the Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Okay, so once again, uh, the game is the Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Remember how I said I was going to bag all those cards? Yeah, I just, I, I, I just picked up the box to show you on this video, and I just heard them all crumple down. Anyway, <laughs> um, lesson learned, mistakes made. Bermuda Crisis, Discovery Dawning. Uh, I will have a link on how to purchase down below. And like I said, I've already talked to my gaming group about this. Everybody's really excited to try it. Everybody likes the art. So you guys can expect a review video fairly quickly. Uh, maybe as soon as this weekend. We're going to try. Um, the downside of gaming as an adult is we all have different schedules. But we're going to get it to the table soon. All right, guys, uh, please check out my Patreon if you like my channel. Uh, even a couple dollars a month to support would be huge. Uh, the link is down below. And uh, check out my Instagram. That's just the cranky old gamer. You'll find me. Uh, I post whenever I play games like group shots. I post, uh, I paint a lot of miniatures. So I paint, post pictures of those. Uh, whenever I get new games, uh, uploading videos, I'll take a screenshot. Uh, and all kinds of gaming board fun. 
whatever I can do uh, to be as entertaining as I can. So, uh, and yeah. All right, guys. And also, if, if there's anybody out there that is looking to, for uh, somebody to do reviews of their game, do unboxings, pre-Kickstarter, you name it, please, you can always email me at thecrankyoldgamer at gmail.com. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. This has been an unboxing of the, Dis the Bermuda Crisis Discovery Dawning, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.